Hey Claudette, uh, finally getting around to your drumsticks here. Let me see. I've got um, Stuart Copeland and um, let's see, Chad Smith's Funk Blaster. So I'm sh going to show you, make a little video of, of what I found and um, you know my motivation for doing this and uh, and what I've what I've done to solve the problem and see what you think. So, so what I've noticed is. If you take a drumstick and you hold it right around there, I've made this little this little mark there, but it's about kind of where you would hold it. Maybe maybe a little bit rear of where you would hold it, but but if you hold it right about there, right? And if you hold it loosely with these two fingers, what you'll find if you listen very carefully is the stick, I'm not sure if you can hear this but the stick actually rings. It actually vibrates at about 400 hertz or so. So I've got one, that, to, to get some instrumentation on this, what I've done is I have a stick that I put this accelerometer on and I've got the accelerometer connected up to a scope there so that I can see exactly what's happening with the stick. And if I hold it there with my little mark, hope you can see that there, and uh, um, I'm just going to hold it loosely with these two fingers and then just kind of strike it onto the bench and I'll show you the scope. Let me turn, oh, I guess I can't turn the camera around there, but uh, let's see if you can see that scope there. So what you could see here is here's the initial strike way back there. I've got this on the 20 milliseconds per division scale. And what's happening is the stick actually rings for nearly a quarter of a second. It's really quite incredible. And here's our spectrum analyzer, and you can see that it rings at about 437 hertz. So all sticks do this to some extent. And the question is what, you know, kind of the frequency and some other things, but, but they all do it. And for me, after I've been playing a while, my fingers start getting tingly. You know, and so uh, so I'll show you what I've done here. Hang on one second. I'm gonna put down the put down the phone. <clears throat> so I'm gonna switch sticks here. What I've done is I have modified the stick. This is quite some video we got here. So I've modified the stick. I've, I, as you, what you'll see is that there's something going on in the back end. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to tell you what in this video, but, but the, the, the net result is that when I uh, hold the stick in exactly the same way and bounce it on the uh, table, let's see if we can get that view of the scope again. What you see is that this ringing sensation really only happens for about 20 milliseconds, so about one-tenth the time. So with this, it really creates kind of a dead blow on the on the cymbals and on the drum head. It doesn't like ring in your hand after it's made the strike. It will just it will just make the strike and then stop right away. So um, so you can see here on the scope and on the on the on the spectrum analyzer, what you see is you still see that there's these peaks, but they're not nearly as high as they are with a with a normal wooden drumstick. So, um, so now Zildjian also has a stick like this. They call it their Anti Vibe series, and they also put something in the back end of the stick. I'll show you what they put in there. They put this little rubber thing in the back end of the stick. They drill a hole into the stick. And they put this rubber thing in there, and, and it actually does work. And I'll show you how effective it is here in a second. Mount the uh, accelerometer onto the onto the um, thing there, and I'll make a few strikes here. Let's see. And so what you can see here on the scope. It definitely works. It, it it basically knocks it about in half. So here we have the ringing, and it rings for about 100 milliseconds. 
whereas a normal wooden drumstick will ring for about 200 milliseconds. So on the spectrum analyzer too, we see that, okay, there's a peak out here at about 453 hertz, and you know, you can see that it's um, it's still pronounced. So, so the Zildjian anti-vibe stick, it does work, it does something, but to me, it doesn't do enough of a thing. And so, so that's what I've got going on here. I'm not going to tell you in this video how it works or what I'm doing, but it is a, a, a fascinating type of technology that I've developed to kill the resonance in a stick to really make this the, the hit very solid. And so I'm going to send the, in, in my purpose of sending you the very sticks that you use is so that you could see it and play around with it and see if this has any value. You know, for me, it has value for me because I could play for a longer period of time without my fingers getting tingly. And, uh, and let me show you one other thing that this technology does. It, it is a side effect. I don't really mean this to happen, but it does happen. Um, on the stick, on one of the two sticks that I send you, what you're going to see, let me see if I get this thing set up here. Um, <clears throat> so what you're going to see is that I've drawn little lines here. You're going to see a little line on the stick here, and you see these little letters in my terrible handwriting, and this says CG. This is the center of gravity of the stick. This is basically the balancing point of the stick, right? And so when I add my little damping thing into the back end of the stick, it does make the center of gravity. I'll, I'll put the two sticks together so you can see. So what you can see here is that the center of gravity on the modified stick is shifted back a little bit, about a half an inch. So now, there's some people that believe that by shifting the center of gravity back towards the butt end of the stick, that that can actually make you play faster, just because the pivot, you're, you're moving the natural pivot point of the stick closer to where you're pivoting the stick in the first place with your wrist. So, <clears throat> this was an unintended consequence of what it is that I'm adding to the stick. This isn't a desired phenomenon, necessarily. But actually, what I'm thinking is a lot of things that I've worked on and projects I've worked on, the, um, you know, I, I intend to solve one problem, but then wind up doing something else that winds up to be beneficial. So this unintended consequence of adding a little bit of weight to the back end of the stick um, to shift the center of gravity rearward may actually wind up to be beneficial. So this is another thing. So, But with drumsticks, one of the things I, I know or at least feel is that it's a very personal phenomenon. It's a very personal feeling that you've got. And so I don't know if you're going to like this or not. I, I tend to prefer this a lot better. But the, the whole point of the test is to see what you think and see what your husband thinks and see if this idea has any any benefit, any, any real benefit, or basically if it's got legs. So... You let me know what you think after you've had a chance to play around with them, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.